Hi there, I'm Cassandra, aka the DigiDane. And in this video, I want to talk about logo variations, uh, what they are, and how you can use them in your business. So, everyone knows what a logo is it's a uh, some sort of graphic uh, or typography that identifies your business. Um, and it has your business name may or may not have a little icon or graphic with it but did you know that there are many different types of logos um, they're called lots of different things by designers uh, depending on who they are um, but you essentially have a main logo or primary logo which will include uh, everything so it has your business name um, often a tagline with it as well um, and may or may not have some sort of graphic or an explanation of what your business is. Um, then there are variations to layout. So your main logo might be circular or square. You can also have it laid out horizontally, which is quite popular with website design because a horizontal logo doesn't take up a lot of room. You can also have a vertical design, which is longer. Um, that might be used um, on your socials um, or your business card. Um, then you have submark logos. So they're slightly condensed and they're used uh, where there's not a lot of space. Um, these submark logos are very popular with socials because you only have a small little box in which to squeeze all of your content. Um, they can also be used uh, for little marketing um, or merchandising products, you know, like a key ring where there's not a lot of um, space. Um, then there's uh, things like icons. So an icon would be uh, essentially a monogram or just a graphic that uses um, your usual logo brand colors and such. So it's still recognizable as your business, but it's small um, and doesn't have your business name on it, essentially. Usually it's just a letter or graphic. Um, so, yeah, there, there are other variations as well, um, but um, designers call them different things and use them in different ways. But if your designer gives you a logo suite, then you have these options of using these different logos in different places. Um, there's different trains of thought in regards to logo variations. Um, a lot of people in branding believe that uh, you should only have one logo because it is your identifying graphic for your business and that if you use too many variations um, it's confusing um, but it really depends on your business and how you want your brand to be perceived if you can make these logos unique enough and unusual enough um, it, it can work um, especially if you're using your main logo quite a lot and it becomes recognised and memorable, um, then your supporting logos will also be recognised because of that. Um, I do use logo variations in my business, but it's usually just for socials. Um, anything where I need to be identified straight away, I, I usually just use my main logo. Um, but because I use... The bright orange is my main brand colour. Um, any supporting logos will always include that orange. It just helps to be um, to identify that particular logo as belonging to me and my business. Um, so I, I hope that's helped to clarify what logo variations are for you and, and how you can use them in your business and help you to decide whether you would like to have just one standing logo or you would like to have a whole suite of them.